what the fuck is happening with Konami? Interesting point. Interesting point. Um, yeah. I, That's going to be the title. What the fuck is going on with Konami? Yeah. I think it's a good title. But I'll have to do, like, yeah, yeah. hashtags and at sounds yeah, yeah, or whatever. all that. All that. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm... I kind of... The fuck I'm, is that going on with Konami? Yeah, I'm curious with, with this. Um, it's because I you're a Kojima, material man. Kojima leaving Konami might be a brilliant thing. Might be a great thing. Not for Konami, well, wait, but right, for Kojima. Let's, let's back it up, right? Okay. So, everything was going swimmingly. It is. Right? People were people swimming. They were yeah, loving they were, it. They were they were loving, people were swimming the channel. Yeah, they were. To France. I'm just trying to find something, by the way. But yeah. What's, whose chin is that? It's my girlfriend. That doesn't look, look, look like... nothing in, like her, no. Like, in the slightest, that uh-huh. looks... No. That in there. Um, what, what was he talking <laughs> about? Yeah, so everything was going swimmingly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, everything was going swimmingly. And um, Metal Gear Solid was looking cool. Yeah. Uh, PT. Yeah. Looking fucking... Looking really cool. Swizzles. And, and um, uh, what else? What else? What else? Yeah, so then this weird stuff started happening, like, a couple months ago, where um, they were changing all of, like, Kojima Productions, Kojima this, Kojima that, to, like... Um, Konami, yeah, Konami, Konami, yeah. And then at the time they were like, "Oh no, 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 no! It don't mean anything about Kojima. It's just, it's just internal restructuring." And yeah. they fed some like really weird story, and um, so then, um, then like, thingy went like MIA, like Kojima, like he yeah, went he tweeting and like, ages, yeah. like it was like we mentioned it on here, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Time. It was like, what the yeah. fuck was going on? So um. So then, um, so then what happened? Then, uh, it came out that he was going to do Metal Gear. It was, was it, uh, no, it, the yeah. thing was like, oh, don't worry, he's going to do Metal Gear. Yeah. No sweat. Then. Yeah. This whole thing with that doctor came out. Yeah. Which what? was weird. <laughs> <laughs> so, th- so there's a doctor who I think is Italian. Yeah. Um. But he's he's going to be doing the procedure in Russia, or he might be Russian. I don't know. Yeah. Um. And the doctor in the Phantom Pain trailer. Yeah. Is that doctor? It is that doctor. It is yeah, that doctor. Yeah. And um, this doctor's like he's done like TED talks and like things on yeah. Phantom Pain, and yeah. he's written like um uh articles and stuff About to do with Phantom, Phantom Pain, Pain yeah. which is uh for anyone who doesn't know, it's I think that's like you know like if you have your arm severed yeah, off, is. if you're missing a limb. Uh, yeah, you still, still feel it. Yeah, yeah, which is weird. Which is obviously going to be uh, something to do with something that's going to happen in the game. Well, or... yeah, in the demo, um, I won't spoil anything, but there is, yeah, there is that. There is an element. What of with that. Snake? Not with Snake. No, no, with another character. So Snake don't lose the tur. <laughs> no. And he's like, oh, I can feel that. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I'm looking down at my socks, and I can tell that that tur's not there. Yeah, but, but I, can I can feel, feel it wiggling. It. Yeah, I can feel it. Um. So. Uh, so yeah, so all this weird shit happened. So so basically, this this doctor's done like all this sort of like yeah. stuff, and then he came out and was like, "Oh fuck the world, I'm gonna do a fucking head transplant." Yeah. Okay. A head transplant. A head transplant. We talked about it on here, didn't we? Because I was like, "You're talking shit." A head transplant. First. Yeah. Right. Uh-huh. So where they lob someone's head off and yeah. stick it on some other twat's body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, which I think this dude's got like some sort of like. I don't know, monkey body syndrome. Or yeah. Something. So, um, and he said, like, as long as you sever the the actual, like, spinal cord and reconnect that and some sort of, like, blood within an hour, yeah. then you're fine. But the full procedure's going to take 24 hours. And he's going to get, like, the best surgeons. Uh, it? And there's all these surgeons who've been... My like, and he said, my he said, this is his ploy and first step towards immortality. Yeah. Like, last him forever. Because you can just, oh, what's he got? Cancer. Lob his head off. Put it on a fresh body. The brain, though, will die eventually, surely. I don't know. He probably knows more than we do. Yeah, it probably does. It does. Um, well, I found... Um, I wanted to kind of go through this, because in PT... Um, well, wait, wait, wait. Let's, we're, okay, we're let's build to, to this. Let's we're build to this. Right, so... and So, yeah, so this doctor comes out and says... Yeah. And then someone goes... It was probably Neogaf because they're yeah. just fucking wizards, and they were like, 
that dude looks a bit like the Phantom Pain dude. Yeah. And then when they looked into it, he's done all this stuff on Phantom Pain, and mm. like everyone was like, "Is this a f- the head transplant thing like a full publicity stunt? You can't yeah. actually do yeah, it." Yeah, people thought it was and a publicity was... stunt, didn't they? That's crazy. No, well, the tr- head transplant's not happened yet, so no, it I know, still could be. When you think about it, that's mad. He's that doctor to advertise again. It's it is, yeah. But in terms and of like, Kojima's a fucking nutter with the way he announces stuff. And then he was like, "Right, I'm going to talk at some sort of like, you know, um, mm. some like medical summit thing where yeah. like I'm going to prove to the medical world that this can be done." Um, yeah. A day, which is exactly one week before E3. Right. Um, I'm gonna, so everything's yeah. like, what the fuck? So, I'm, I, yeah, I'm going to um, like talk at this summit like thing. Yeah. And it's like, this is weird because this, this doctor, weird, yeah. he's a legit doctor. Yeah. Who in the past, like before Metal Gear um, was even conceived and stuff, was like um, doing all this research into Phantom yeah. Pain and stuff like this. So there's two theories. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, so so everyone like was bombarding this dude, yeah, with, like, yeah, like wanting to talk, and I think he spoke back to Kotaku, yeah. I think, um, and he was like, before last week, I didn't even know Konami was. Yeah. I, I, I still don't really know who Kojima is. Um, <laughs> like, I, I've I've looked at the things. I'm gonna I'm speaking with my lawyer now, and yeah. I'm gonna sue Konami for you leave know me, like, leave me alone. I'm trying to sever heads, which. <laughs> Still could be part of the publicity. Yeah. All it is well, all it was was an email back. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like yeah. there, there's no like actual lawyer action being taken yet. Yeah. And then on the other side, there's the fact that Kojima was was will have been like, oh, Phantom Pain, that's right, cool idea. I'm gonna make it into a fucking game. Mm. And then he's like, I um, think he took inspiration from that doctor. And then he's like, when he's been looking it up, he's seen this doctor and he's seen these images of mm. this doctor, and then he's based the character on this doctor, or, like wrongfully so. Yeah, well, he's not and, just based um, him; he's just cre- copied yeah. him. You know, like and this um, is a down copy. to his exact like weird circle Gandhi yeah, glasses and yeah. stuff. And um, it looks a bit like Gandhi. It does look a bit like Gandhi. Um. Oh, Gandhi went on like a dimensions and got it. Wave two. Yeah. Um, Wave two. <laughs> so. <laughs> Wave two world leaders. Um, he, he never uh, no, led no, the no. world. Political um, people. Um, yeah. So so then he, so they, there's two possibilities. Like I think the second one makes more sense, doesn't it? Well, the, the, he took inspiration oh, yeah, from yeah. this doctor, and it was a little. It's just bit, the um, timing was so weird know, that the yeah, head yeah. transplant came out like. He said that like after the trailer yeah. dropped, and then he's like, "Right, I'm gonna reveal everything on like because a week we don't before." Know the E3 story and... of Phantom Pen as well. No. If the story of Phantom Pen is like Snake gets a new body, or whatever, you would be like, "You uh, might have okay. to do the operation in China because, like, of you know, like, um, in humanity yeah. reasons and stuff like that." Because China's so. one of the only places where you can chop a man's head. <laughs> it's one of the places you can do whatever the fuck <laughs> yeah, you yeah. want. Um, well, yeah, I mean, and then so he's leaving now. And then it's been, but all of this, I wouldn't be surprised if all of this, the whole everything, mm. is a public system. Probably not. I wouldn't, but right. I think it is. So then, like Konami have been like, oh, well, we've drawn our stocks off the off the American stock yeah. market, which they said it's not a big deal because only like it's one or two percent of their it's not a big deal of for their a company trade that size. is done yeah. in New York. The, yeah. the most of their trades done in London and Japan. Japan. So. That's but it's the timing, the fact that Everything, they're withdrawing yeah, this. Yeah. They're like, right, let's take our stocks off the stock market. Mm. Let's let's do this. Let's do that. And it's kind of like not painting a very good picture. No, Kojima leaving and then announcing that um, PT is cancelled. Well, Silent Hills. Yeah, is Silent Hills is cancelled. Uh, Norman Reedus was involved, wasn't he? he was yeah, he was. Voice yeah, acting and stuff. And, I feel sorry for that man. Um, yeah, he's done two games, and one was cancelled. Yeah, yeah, shit. yeah. Um, <laughs> so. So yeah, it's kind of just like, mm. and uh, it's it's going. Uh, are it's, they leaving like the console market? Because um, I they didn't could, know this. they could afford to. I didn't know this, but they like produce. They're like the biggest um, like health yeah, machines they do and stuff, and in, stuff Japan in Japan, and, Japan yeah, yeah. and like I don't know toasters and shit. I yeah, that bit off. I don't know health machines. Um, but they do. Um, so so why this is important, like to talk about on here is one it's a major fucking mm. thing but two I'm going to use the, the lineage word again um, the yeah. fact that they they were sort of in 
you know, like cahoots with Nintendo. Yeah, like, yeah. They they were like releasing like really fucking great games. Mm-hmm. They were the ones who made like a subsidiary company when in in the NES days yeah. to sort of get double the amount of games out on the yeah. NES because the limit oh, of how was, many games yeah. you you could um yeah. release per year. In fact, the original Mac Gear was one of them. Yeah, and um, yeah, it's like it's yeah, it, it's, it's, a, it's a massive shame. It's it's sad. It's it's but then at the same time it's exciting because Kojima is now on his own to do his own thing and he will. That's the thing is he will do something mm. and I feel like uh, Konami's been holding him back up. Do you know like we were talking earlier about safe safety? Mm. I think Konami's been going. Can you do this? This is safe, and Kojima's been wanting to do other things. Yeah, but from from the same point of view, they're a major company, and the the top line like directors and stuff. They're like, why do you take fucking ten years yeah, to, make to make a make game, a game. Yeah, that's when true, we that's could true. release ten games in that time? Yeah. and make more money. Oh, he's you know he's, he's I mean? not the best businessman. Kojima. No, he's, uh, he's a great mind. He's and, a great mind. And I feel and like this should be an outlet for amazing things that happen in video yeah. games but when it's a, a company that are invested in other things yeah. as well it's like their return on investment that's what yeah, these yeah. businessmen are seeing they're not trying to progress the art world oh, and the no, video yeah, game true. world into yeah. some like i can see both sides of that um but i think it's exciting i think we're going to see something obviously it'll be a long time before we see anything from kojima he's got to like kind of find a new uh company or you know what i mean or, or he's got to start again but I think what we do see will be very, very out there, very weird. Probably, probably like really weird. Like I think we'll see some weird stuff come from. Because I mean, the Metal Gear is weird. I mean, when you try actually playing the games, watching the cutscene, like what the fuck's going on? Mm. I think we'll see some weird shit from him. But I think it'll be very, very revolutionary and, and very new. Um, so yeah, can I read out my little quote that I found then? Because I was, I played the oh, PT trailer. Oh, because PT, they've, they've pulled that. They've pulled that, the you demo. You know, even yeah. if you downloaded it, it yeah. you can't even re-download it on your download list. Oh, okay, can you not? No, they've just, like, severed everything. Right. they have just been like, nah, 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 PT. It was like a, it was a game in itself, really. Yeah, wasn't yeah. It? it wasn't really a demo. It was like, they didn't call it Sound no, it Hill. No, like, was, it was a game. It was a it mini was, game. Yeah, it was a game. Yeah. And, um... Well, I was on it. I, I replayed it, and then I kind of saw that there was, um... There's this weird answer machine message at the end. And I thought, this seems really out of place. It doesn't make sense. And then, so I looked it up because I thought, is this something to do with... Because I knew Kojima had obviously written it. I thought, is this something to do with Kojima leaving? Is this a clue? And I looked it up. And apparently I wasn't the only person who thought that. Um, let me read out what it says, uh, this answer machine message, at the end of PT. And then we'll kind of say what other people have said about it. Um, but what we saw was the answer machine message that said... Dad was such a drag. Every day he'd eat the same kind of food, dress the same, sit in front of the same kind of games. Yeah, he was just that kind of guy. But then one day, he goes and kills us all. He couldn't even be original about the way he did it. I'm not complaining, I was dying of boredom anyway. But guess what? I will be coming back, and I'm bringing my new toys with me. That is a message from Kojima. Yeah, it's very telling. It's very, very telling that, you know, Dad was a drag. He sat in front of the same kind of games, you know. K- Konami have been, you know, saying to Kojima, you need to do this, you need to do this. You know, I was, I, he he killed us all. I was dying of boredom anyway. You're like, that is, you know, I was going to leave anyway. Mm. But that bit at the end, guess what? I'm coming back and I'm bringing my new toys with me. That's exciting. And that's why I believe we're going to see something from him. And I believe... He'll carry on in some vein what he did, what he started with PT. I think we won't see Silent Hills, but we'll see. I'd love, I'd love to see a horror game in that style. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it was, it's Kojima that does the creative stuff on that. Do you know the the weird ass oh, yeah. way that game? That was Kojima, and I think that we'll. I'm hoping we'll see Silent Hills, but it just won't be called Silent Hills. Yeah, because he, I mean, he's got no sort of like, um, like like love towards that franchise no he's never no that was his first one yeah right? exactly so. yeah so he's not he doesn't have to call it silent hills he's not gonna even want to call it silent hills mm. he can call it whatever he wants i don't care call it friggin i don't know sitar um if you want but they're not very silent they're quite annoying yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. And the movie's called like Loud oh, Loud know. Valley. Noise noisy mountain. Right, so Rob Farhey over at gamesindustry.biz mm-hmm. has done a really, really good article. I recommend you all go and check out the article. Yeah. It's called What Is Happening at Konami. There's a really interesting quote that he said. Yeah. How does a company like that, like as big as that, yeah, end up ditching its New York, um, the stock exchange, New yeah. York stock exchange listings, its most famous developer, and the eagerly awaited revival of one of the most loved games franchises, all in the space of a month? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like it's, it's like it's all weird timing. Individually, those things, one it's of, like yeah. fair enough. But all of them within one month, they've had this on their mind for a long time, and they're, they're Do you going think through. They're with pulling out of games then. Cause they're they're doing mobile. Like, like yeah. Sega have pulled out of console games. Yeah. But they're still doing mobile. Okay. Um, yeah. I, I feel like they may be pulling out of console games. I think they are. I think they're pulling out of console games. It makes sense. It makes sense. I think... But what's a shame is that, like, we'll get the new Metal Gear and then that'll be it. Wow. Okay. He's also got a grab... This this article is really good. I really recommend it you seems, see Yeah, that. it seems that it's quite... It's um, very, very in-depth. It's, yeah. It's, it's, it's not too long but um the the he's got a graph here you know of um uh how much Konami's, where they get the profit from yeah okay. yeah so it's got from 2010 to q3 2015 yeah um and the digital entertainment has been in decline yeah um health and fitness um had a rise in 2013s then kind of dropped yeah. off yeah Gaming and systems kind of had like a fairly big rise, but it's yeah. kind of going off. And Pachinko's had like, um, again, like a wave, yeah. But the smallest part of that, of that, I think that's the thing that's kind of making the biggest point of. Um, at one of the smallest is, is gaming and systems, it's the second smallest, yeah. And the only thing smallest is Pachinko, yeah, like for their, for their income, their main income comes from digital entertainment. Um, and then next what is does health that and mean? fitness. I don't know. Do I mean, make, like, I don't DVD know what they're doing. Players to... or like something. Yeah, probably more like Blu-rays, but yeah, no one makes DVD players anymore. Oh, anymore. sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I think yeah. Um, I'd love a little Konami beat a max player. <laughs> yeah, I think I think you've got to go to Japan to see it. Health you, and fitness is is really big. Mm. Yeah, so, so which they're not which when a big part when they're company. like as far as I know, like. Is only in Asia that that yeah. stuff, whereas the gaming stuff worldwide. Yeah. Like, so when you think about how little yeah. that's making, considering it's worldwide, that should be their biggest earner, mm. but it's not. So you can see why as a businessman you go right. Let's the, all all this shit's going down. Let's just drop the game side of it and let's focus on the stuff that actually makes us money. You can see that from a business point of view. Um, oh, so the digital entertainment's like arcade games, mobile games, social games, and so on. So mobile games is an interesting one. Um, I think, well... Reading, sorry, reading Konami's financial report since 2010, it's clear that the mobile and social gaming space has been growing steadily year on year. Then, yeah, I think that's what they'll do. And, and we'll see mobile games and, and stuff from them. But I, I don't see... If I was in charge of that company, I think I'd be feeling very much the same. Of like, well, do we really need console games? You know, is that where the money's made? Because... It doesn't seem Will to be. Will we see Silent Hill, Metal Gear and stuff on mobile? Uh, not not in the form that they are now, but we'll, because uh, IP yeah, is very, very... Metal Gear we might. I don't want to see a Silent Hill. There was Resident Evil Hill. games. I know there was. I don't want to see a Silent Hill. No, I'm not saying do you want to. I'm saying no. will we? I, almost certainly. I think we'll see Metal Gear. I don't know if Silent Hill sells enough to... I don't think if I don't think it's popular enough for him to do it um, to the mainstream market. Metal Gear is something that a lot of people know. I, I think I feel like Silent Hills, Silent Hill isn't really a thing anymore because they kind of did like, stamp it into the ground, yeah. um, with all the Silent Hills that came out, um, and I towards the end they weren't selling that great the Silent Hill games, you know the last couple that they did. So, I don't know. I don't think we'll see a Silent Hill, but yeah, I can see a Metal Gear, something Metal Gear, um, on iOS, which, okay, you know that. I've I struggle with Metal, Metal Gear um to get into I've, I've played a few of them but I played the first one the second one the third one and then this demo and 
no, like it don't get me anymore because I don't I don't understand the story and all this. Mm. So I think iOS, if they did a Metal Gear game, they certainly would have to start a new canon because the mainstream market. Well, aren't Kojima understand. will be gone. Yeah, he will. So, so they'll have to. But yeah, so so it's it's kind of sad really that uh, that a game a mm. game developer that's been developing games for thirty years, yeah. uh, maybe even more, because they did arcade stuff before yeah, NES and everything yeah. like that. So maybe like. 40 years yeah. maybe, maybe like more maybe a hundred years yeah they've been developing games since the dawn of man man's been around like more than a hundred years I know <laughs> um so yeah I, I'm I'm curious as to what Kojima's gonna do I actually think it's a good thing um I've in terms of what we're gonna see from Kojima um Konami all right, it's a shame, but you know we. I mean, what was the last game we actually got from Konami? Um. Well, I remember we got that. Um, uh. Uh. What the hell is it called? The three DS version of um. What the fuck's it called? They're one of the biggest franchises, Dracula and shit. C- Castlevania. Yeah. Yeah, and it was terrible. Yeah, it wasn't very good. Um, so I, I'm I. I, oh, don't, don't they do um, that football game that's not FIFA? Uh, Pro. Pro Evolution Soccer. Yeah, yeah, they do, yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, we probably will see the end of that, but to be fair, FIFA kills it every year anyway. They were um, developed in 1978. Yeah. Like, that's a long fucking time. So nearly 40 years. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's uh, Yeah, that is a long time. Um, go down to the bottom. Let's see what the, the recent stuff, because it seems that... I think it's all in alphabetical. Oh, is it? Okay, that's annoying. Um, Because I can't think of much exciting that's come out recently where I've been like, you know, that's a great game. Yu-Gi-Oh, whatever the fucking thing's called. PSP? What? Yeah. Really? Um, Yes, I don't know. I I think it's the end of a, it's the end of a, a, an era, but. Um, Quiz Magic Academy. Right, okay. Um, Pro Pro Evo. Soccer, yeah. Metal Gear Solid, Ground Zeroes, and The Phantom Pain. Um, Look at 2014. There's nothing there. Yeah, that Castlevania, Lord of Shadow 2. Rubbish. Yeah, there's nothing really. So they're in really... You know, we're, we're missing the old Konami, aren't we? We're not missing... The new Konami. Konami hasn't actually been that great recently, uh, and there are games that have come are coming Beat out. Beatmania, Dance Dance Revolution. Yeah, the the, Quiz ga- Magic the games Academy. that are coming out are Kojima's children, not Konami's. The Snowman and the Snow Dog. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot about that. That was two thousand thirteen. Um, yeah, just Pro Evo seems to be the mm. only thing that they're selling and making any money on. So, you know, are we really are we really losing that much? Um, now anyway you know it, it seems that they've if you look at that list it starts off loads and loads of games and all that and it seems to have like slowly dropped off as you go through the years yeah but you can't like get rid of the power of uh, mobile power Peru <laughs> baseball 2014 true, true true we're not gonna see a sequel never but... underestimate mobile power power <laughs> baseball 2014 so yeah that's that's my opinion on it. Of it, yeah, I think. I've just made shite. Of I know. Me. I think it's actually not a bad thing. I think um, Kojima's gonna do something exciting and new. Um, and I Here's think we every look game at... they've done for the three years. Doctor Lau Trek and the Forgotten Knights. Okay. Well, that's Never forgotten. even heard of that. And the Forgotten Frogger three D. Frogger three D. <laughs> Penguin No Mondai the Wars. Pro Evo eleven. Pro Evo yeah. twelve. Beyond the Labyrinth. New Love Plus. <laughs> <laughs> that, I don't like the sound Snake of that. Snake Eater. Yeah. Um, Snake Eater. All right, we'll give him that. Tongari Boshi to Maho no Machi. Okay. Brilliant game. Brilliant game. My favourite. Pro Evo 13. Yeah. Castlevania Lord of Shadows. Mirrors of Fate. That was that, that was one. It. That was it. It was terrible. Um, Pro Evo 14 and Yu-Gi-Oh. Right. Well, that's Yu-Gi-Oh. it. That's what Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm, I'm saying. We're not missing anything anymore because it's all they've already kind of just gone flat. You know, 
Kojima's gonna make something new and exciting, and that's where I'm kind of leaving. It's just sad that Castlevania will die, and Metal Mm -hmm. Gear will die, and Silent Hill die. They're like three fucking. But they already killed Castlevania. No, no, but he could still have a resurgence and be amazing. It could. But they already killed Silent Hill, but this one was gonna be. Who's to say it will, but it'll just have a different name? You know, like we like we said that about Mega Man, and then of course you've got. Yeah, um, but. That, that company still exists and they're obviously still mm. invested in Mega Man or they want to yeah. put it in Smash Bros and everything, and everything yeah, they're yeah. doing now so that no I think um, but I, I think if we might see a new Castlevania but it just won't be called Castlevania that's all I'm saying I, I think we might do um, mm. from Kojima maybe that's the franchise he'll look at you know we don't know um, what he's going to look at but it's certainly going to be better than the shit he's having to make at um, Konami apart from Phantom Pain and PT, mm. uh, which, okay, they they're gonna be great games, but oh, there is like mobile time. Metal Gear Acid Two Mobile. Mm. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I don't know, but should we leave that topic there? Yeah, I th- yeah, I think we we can. Um... Oh yeah, there's like weird mobile games that. Oh yeah, well they look like the Game, game by Color game. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay, so Gabe, where can they be a Cooper Club member? Because there's really cool stuff in the Cooper Club now. There is, there there's is. some really good episodes. We've got loads of episodes in there now. Exclusive. The only place you can hear them is there. Yeah, um, we've got... Unless someone's put them on, like, torrent sites or something. Yeah, I hope no one's done that. That'd be a real crap thing to do. Um, yeah, so we've... If you go on there, there's the dollar where you get... The dollar deal where you get just things early. The ding-dong dollar deal. The ding-dong ding, ding merrily on dollar deal. <laughs> Uh, where you just get things early. There's the five dollar deal where you get things early. You also get the extra shows that we do every month. So extra, extra, listen to it. Then you got the twenty dollar, which is all them things plus a Skype conversation, and the thirty five dollar. It's all them, all them the things. The Skype conversations have been very funny. Yeah, they're, they're unusual, unusual to have. Yeah, but um, it's kind of, kind of cool and warming at the same time. Yeah, it's yeah, it's it's quite heartwarming to know that we like people want to actually talk to us. <laughs> Um, and then for thirty five, you get all them things plus a piece of in a pear tree. Yeah, yeah, piece of merchandise every month. Partridge in a pear tree not included. So yeah, check out our battle of the t-shirts. Check out all the other stuff we're doing oh, on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, battle of the t-shirts. Yeah, check out our YouTube. That's from a battle of the that's t-shirts from last month. Yeah, the months before. Um, that's from John Chris Felucci's store. Yeah. Um. So check that out. Check out all our other stuff we do on YouTube. Like, mm, subscribe, mm, share. Mm. Tell your friends. Spunker. Yeah. And we'll uh, we'll see you on the flip side. Yeah, we'll, s- we'll see you in the bayou. We will. Going down the bayou. Bye. You. you. <laughs>